Ah, uh, photo manipulation. Something that never gets old and something that I don't do enough recently. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back once again. Uh, and today I figured we'd do something a little different. It's been a while. It's been a good minute since I've done some photo manipulation um, in general. So I figure it's time to hop in and make something. And I want to give a couple tips while you see a nice speed art going in the background here. So... Uh, giving tips for photo manipulation is always difficult because the bulk of creating photo manipulation images um, is just creativity. It's just being able to go in and be like, okay, well, I want this to look like this, and I want this to be here, and I want this to go here. Now, of course, there is some artsy uh, things that you can do, of course, for lighting and for shadows and whatnot. Um, but for the most part, I just wanted to give some tips that would definitely help you out if you're struggling with uh, maybe a little bit of photo manipulation or struggling to get uh, your ideas onto the canvas rather. So the first thing I can say is that I use a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of layers. Put everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything on a different layer. Put everything on a different layer. A different type of lighting. Uh, like uh, a different stroke of lights just put everything on a different layer so everything is separate uh, and everything can be edited later on easily if you want to move things around because I, you definitely will you definitely will want to move things around rotate things slightly change them just put everything on a different layer just keep that in mind uh, while you're doing things do not work off of one layer do not work off of just a few layers make every make everything a different layer and also next another tip group layers together that are the same object so if for instance I'm creating a nice little UFO kind of thing here I don't know it just kind of popped in my head I'm not really sure why had no idea what I was gonna make when I started off by the way um, but uh, for instance this UFO alien ship uh, group everything together so the lights on on the ship group that together that's right click and then create new layer group and then just drag everything into uh that group the second thing well the third thing rather the third tip i suppose uh keep in mind the focus of the piece so if there, for instance for this i wanted to put the main focus on the actual spaceship i didn't want a million things going on of course there, there's millions of things that i could have added i could have done a lot more um, this is a pretty simple, straightforward photo, man photo manipulation piece, but I really wanted the focus to be on the spaceship, and that was basically it. I just wanted to create a scene, an atmosphere, and and that was it. That's all I wanted to do. And I, I, I got the job done, and that was it. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to take focus away from anything. Keep in mind what your focus of the scene is that you want it to be. You got to keep that in mind. Because a lot of the times things can get lost because it's really, really easy to go overboard with something like this type of art where you can literally create anything you want. It's just insane. Um, so, yeah, that's that's another big one. Just don't go overboard with things and just know what you want to do. Know what you want to do and then focus on that. Uh, fourth, don't be afraid to try like new things, things that you don't think will work. Don't be afraid that everything has to be perfect. You can see on the edges of the sand dunes in the background of the mountains, I actually used uh, my actual, by hand, and I drew on 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 those mountains, all those mountain edges to get that nice rim light on there. Um, and, and most importantly, don't be afraid to use blend modes. Change the blend modes of your layers. As I'll tell you right now, addition looks great great for light sources and screen looks good too but I, I do like it uh, addition a little bit better for some specific cases if you want it to look brighter uh, use overlay use hard light use uh, grain merge uh, use as many of these as you can they all do something slightly different just get used to them just try them out and it always look different depending on what you're doing so I can't tell you a specific one but hard light typically looks good for shadows screen overlay soft light and addition usually look good for um, highlights or brighter lights or some kind of emission uh, or bloom. Uh, dropping the opacity down, of course, as well helps for things like fog. Um, but yeah, so something else I wanted to do, wanted to mention is work on pieces. I say this all the time in all types of art. This applies to everything. Work on pieces at a time. Don't think you have to attack the entire thing at the same time because you're going to get bogged down like that. You're going to go insane. This is a huge piece. How do I finish it? How do I do this? How do I do that? only worry about one piece at a time so right now i'm working on this guy i'm only worried about the guy and getting his color right then the uh 
lines on the edge right it's the only thing i'm worried about and then after that i am worried about the shadow uh that i'm gonna do on the ground and that is it now another big thing for realism is lighting and i know this is like a bigger topic that i can't just touch on in a small tip in one single video so i'm probably going to do uh, a special video on lighting and highlights and whatnot uh, in the very near future uh, if you guys would enjoy that but the one thing that i can tell you is just keep in mind where your light source is so for instance my light source is uh, obviously you know ambient light from the sky um, but the main light source is the spaceship that has some kind of beam of light you know coming out of it while it's kind of sitting on the ground um, so obviously that's super bright yellow super bright orangish tones to it so of course I'm gonna want to make sure that I know all of my light source is gonna be coming from the right hand side of the canvas and not from the left hand side uh, with the shadows, the same thing, so make sure you keep that in mind that your shadows are going to be going to the left because your your light is coming from the right. So if you get confused, just take a look at a light in your room and look at which way the, the brightest parts of objects are and where the shadows lie in your room. That's a very easy way to keep, in, uh, keep on track of that. Uh, something else is that gluing layers together can be as simple as changing blend modes, adding fog, changing the color. Don't be afraid to get in and change things that you've already dealt with. Don't be afraid to be like, oh, I've already touched that. You can touch it as many times as you need to. Listen, it doesn't matter. You can change the hue. You can change saturation, the brightness. Just get in there. If you think it looks weird after you're done, then change it. Look at everything together. Don't look at single individual layers. Look at everything together. Or else you won't get the big picture. Um, defining edges and defining lines, of course, can be done with highlights. Uh, if you need to, go ahead and erase some edges with a very soft brush to get a nice little uh, soft-edged highlight kind of thing going on. But, um, but yeah, those are most of the tips that I have for you. Like I said, just be creative. Just kind of lose yourself in the, in the process of making whatever you're doing. And I guarantee you, you'll have some fun and you'll grow as a photo manipulation artist. I'm going to be doing more of these. I really love doing photo manipulation. Uh, we're going to be definitely doing some more of these in the near, 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 near future. But yes, I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, but until then, bye-bye.